All right, let's move on to the U.S. elections. Now, Kamala Harris held a star-studded rally on Thursday in swing state of Georgia, where former U.S. President Barack Obama and rock legend Bruce Springsteen joined her final push for vote, vote, votes ahead of November's nail-biter election. <clears throat> it is the latest attempt by Harris' campaign to capitalize on the backing of movie and music stars to rally voters in the closing days of tight election race against Republican rival Donald Trump. On Friday, she will appear with Beyonce in Houston. About 20,000 people attended the Georgia rally, which would make it her largest political rally yet, according to her campaign. Harris emphasized her, her middle-class roots and asked people to vote for her. Our our days left in one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime. And I don't need to tell you voting has already started. And everybody here knows it's going to be a tight race until the very end. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. But we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work is joyful work. And make no mistake, we will win. A new Reuters poll found that Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris held a marginal 46% to 43% lead over Trump. But numerous public polls suggest Trump could outperform among young men of all races. On a campaign trail in Philadelphia, Harris said her Republican rival Donald Trump was exhausted and that, if elected, would be plotting revenge against his opponents. We have the choice of a Donald Trump who will sit in the Oval Office, stewing, plotting revenge, <laughs> retribution, writing out his enemies list, or what I will be doing, which is responding to folks like the folks last night with a to-do list. In the U.S. elections, war of words has taken center stage in the campaigning by both the presidential candidates. Former President Donald Trump is holding rallies in Tempe, Arizona and Las Vegas, while Vice President Kamala Harris is in the Atlanta suburbs with former President Barack Obama and musician Bruce Springsteen. Immediately upon taking the oath of office, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. We get America. And I will rescue every town across America that's been invaded and conquered. These towns have been conquered. And we will put these vicious and bloodthirsty criminals in jail or we'll kick them the hell out of our country as fast as we can. And I'm here by calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or a law enforcement officer. All right, our correspondent, Shubhendu Ghosh, is joining us from Florida. And Amrit Pal Singh is joining us from Texas. Welcome, both of you. Uh, Amrit, to you first, war of words continues between the contenders. You tell us how's the election battle there, uh, you know, shaping up. Uh, that's right. The war of words uh, continues uh, between both candidates. And when I talk to Americans, they tell me that it's uh, low, uh, reached its lowest. They haven't seen uh, such a, a low narrative play out, the kind of words used by both sides. Uh, you know, Kamala Harris <laughs> calling him uh, increasingly unstable. Uh, questioning his mental fitness, uh, uh, calling him unhinged. Uh, he uh, using words like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Joe Biden uh, became a retard, Kamala was born one. So with this kind of language that's being used, uh, you know, it does upset people when, the, when you talk to uh, voters from either camp. They off camera and privately tell you that, uh, yes, they have not seen such kind of uh, public uh, spewing of venom uh, being uh, seen in elections before. So uh, that's going on. Campaigning is uh, both ca candidates are campaigning, especially focusing on the swing states. Uh, you saw her uh, in, uh, uh, you know, you saw him uh, in uh, Arizona, her in uh, Georgia, both are swing states. So uh, clearly they're trying to woo uh, the voter uh, who's still undecided and woo, uh, to try and get as many people out to vote. Uh, for them uh, because it will finally boil down to the swing states on who wins. All right. I'll take that forward to uh, Shubhendu. Shubhendu, now you're there in Florida and Florida has been uh, trending towards the political right in recent years uh, and now it is seen as a moderately red state. Uh, get us a quick update on early voting in Florida. 
Uh, right, Preeti, uh, early voting has been on since Monday. It will continue till 3rd of November and thereafter, of course, the big day of the election day. But uh, this has been uh, rather historical early <laughs> voting in uh, Florida. Uh, both uh, Democrats and Republican supporters have been coming out uh, and voting in the early voting phase. It's especially surprising as far as the Republicans are concerned. Traditionally, uh, they're not seen as very enthusiastic early voters. Uh, and in the past, they sort of raised uh, concerns about uh, the fair play as far as early voting is concerned. But this time over, it's different. Uh, there is almost like a competition between the Democrat and the Republican supporters to come out in large number. Uh, some 2.2 uh, .2 million uh, voters, uh, registered voters in, uh, in Florida, uh, Preeti, have already exercised their franchise. And uh, mind you, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a lot of hard work for the voters also to come to the voting booth. And why do I say that? Because it's not just the presidential race. Uh, they, they have to also choose uh, their candidate for the Senate, uh, their, uh, for the House of Representatives for the local Florida Legislative Assembly and number of other positions. Uh, there are also amendments out for vote, amendments uh, for uh, 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 abortion-related uh, decisions, amendment for uh, recreational use of marijuana among some of the amendments and referendums that are also part of it. So when the voters enter a polling booth here in Florida, uh, there are some six-page document that they must go through, uh, cast their vote on every page for different candidates for different positions. Uh, so in that sense, uh, a very, very competitive uh, early voting on in uh, Florida. And voters are coming out in large numbers. They don't want to miss the opportunity, not just about convenience, but also to avoid the last moment anxiety You know, make sure that their vote counts and uh, they can give a tough fight to the opponent. All right, Amrit, to you now. Uh, you know, large number of Republicans are appearing to be voting with gusto this time around also as Shubendu uh, puts this. Uh, you know, what uh, Shubendu is in Florida. Uh, you tell us how is, uh, what is the trend in uh, other states where early voting has picked up and how do we read, uh, you know, this, uh, this newfound gusto amongst the Republicans? Well, uh, yes, that's true that uh, more Republicans, registered Republicans are voting in early voting than Democrats. That's a reversal of trend. Uh, generally, Democrats tend to vote more in uh, Democratic voters. Democrat voters tend to vote, uh, vote more in early polls. But this time around, uh, uh, it's, uh, they have they, they are voting in larger numbers. Uh, that can be attributed to uh, the you know campaign run by the Republicans to get their voters out uh, in huge numbers. Uh, though uh, you know Donald Trump was earlier maintaining a, he wasn't exactly. Uh, very thrilled about early voting, and he said that this could be a, uh, this, these votes could be stolen, etc. But his strategists think uh, otherwise, his party thinks otherwise, and they've been able to get voters out. So it clearly is that uh, the party's worked hard uh, to, uh, despite his uh, Trump's public statement about early voting uh, being uh, uh, that could be manipulated by uh, the uh, Democrats wherever they are in power. Uh, but th that's more of a rhetoric, let me tell you, because. Uh, the election, uh, they do not have anything like our election commission. They have smaller election boards. The uh, electoral process is held by that particular county officials. So you can, you know, where I am, like the, the state uh, is totally red, but the county of Travis where I am is blue. So, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the election board is formed by the state uh, legislature assembly uh, or uh, by the executive authorities of the state. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, the uh, Republican uh, voting clearly is, uh, could be attributed to that despite Donald Trump's public statements, the party wants them to come out and vote in huge numbers and get an early advantage over the Democrats. All right, Amrit and Shubendu, thank you so much for joining us with those details.